go right into our Ziploc bag. We're gonna zip it up. Now's the fun part. You can do a little dance. I'm with Manitoba Turkey Producers. Other than being a dietitian, I am a busy mom of three and I love quick weeknight meals. And I think it can make all the difference if you have some quick meals in your back pocket ready to go. Now, I'm gonna show you one today that is, I would say, probably a family favorite for lots of families. We are making a elevated uh, turkey bites. And what makes it elevated is this hot honey mustard dipping sauce that adults are gonna love. So we're gonna start today with our turkey. You can see we've cubed up our turkey and to save on dishes, which means you're saving on time, we're gonna do it in a plastic bag. The old fashioned shake and bake way. So we got our turkey in there and we're gonna add in a little bit of yellow mustard. Now, maybe that sounds a little bit odd, but the reason we're doing that is so that the breading can bind to the turkey. So we're gonna massage that mustard in and get it coated, coating the turkey. Now, typically, if you're doing a breading for um, any kind of meat, you might do an egg and flour um, and breading mixture um, and then do that whole station thing. It takes so much time. So that's why we're doing this. It's for quick weeknight meals. So we've got our mustard massaged into our turkey. We're gonna just set that aside for just a moment. And we are going to season our breadcrumbs. Now, one of the very first cooking shows I watched was Emeril Lagasse, and I'll never forget him saying, I don't know about you, but where I come from, my breadcrumbs don't come seasoned. So ever since then, it's stuck with me, and I always season my breadcrumbs. So we're starting with some paprika. I'm gonna add in some garlic powder, onion powder, and just some salt and pepper, so that'll just be all mixed in together. We're using panko breadcrumbs. I particularly like these ones because they make a really nice crispy crust. So once you get that all mixed in there, the thing about seasoning the breadcrumbs, especially with the paprika, is that it adds a lot of color. So you're gonna get that nice golden color that we all expect in these little nuggets. So the breadcrumbs go right into our Ziploc bag. We're gonna zip it up. Now's the fun part. You can do a little dance, or better yet, you can give this job to your kids. If you have kids around, they love this job. So the goal here is to get all that coating onto the turkey. Sometimes you gotta massage it in a little, make sure it sticks. And I think we're good. So today we are using an air fryer. Now, I have a lot of kitchen gadgets, probably like a lot of you out there, but this one is hands down my favorite and I use it the most because it makes cooking so much quicker and easier. So if you don't have an air fryer, you might wanna get one. But if you don't, you can still make these in the oven. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So we have our air fryer preheated. When it comes to whipping up a quick weeknight dinner, nuggets are probably a go-to. Am I right? I know it is for my busy family. I encourage you to consider making a double batch of these delicious but healthy turkey bites instead. You can cook half now and save the rest for later. 
They'll keep in the fridge for up to four days and the freezer for up to three months. It's a great way to have something fast and tasty ready for your hectic weeknights. One more quick step here that we're going to do, and that is spray it with a little bit of oil. Now, when you get little frozen nuggets from the store, they might have sort of this sheen on them and might be nice and crispy and golden brown. Well, the, the oil, when you spray it on, it kind of gives it that same sort of feel. So they're gonna take about 12 minutes and you're gonna wanna flip them halfway through and then you're gonna spray the other side. So while these are cooking, we are gonna move on to make our hot honey mustard sauce. You're gonna love this sauce. It's got a little bit of everything. It's a little creamy, a little sour, a little sweet. We're gonna use some, just some regular mayonnaise, some honey Dijon mustard, some more yellow mustard, kind of ties in what we used on the turkey. Some honey in there. This was cider vinegar. And we're adding a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now the recipe calls for a quarter of a teaspoon, um, but if you like it a little hotter, maybe you want to add a little more. And all you got to do is whisk it together. It's really fast. Again, another great job if you have kids. It's, it's that easy. And look at that beautiful color we get. So you can see our finished product here. We're gonna just add a little bit of that sauce into the dish. And you can see that those turkey bites are nice and golden brown. You can make it a balanced meal by adding some veggies on the side. And uh, yeah, it's just delicious. I love these cute little um, baskets too because you could put the paper in, just toss it when you're done, no dishes. You gotta love that. So if you're ready to try this delicious turkey bite recipe with this elevated hot honey mustard sauce, you can find the recipe below. If you decide to try this recipe at home, we would love to know what you think. We hope you leave this video feeling inspired to cook with local ingredients. Subscribe if you want to see more from us. Thank you so much for watching.